Okay, this video is for um, a brother that's out there. I'm not going to list his name because I don't want any bullshit about how I'm exposing somebody or somebody whining to YouTube. Uh, these are some of the names that he's been called by women. Uh, but I hope if he doesn't like the video, you can write to me and I'll take it down. Okay? But I listened to, he has three videos up. I listened to him and uh, let me say that I listened to about four minutes of one video and I would like my four minutes back, basically. Uh, your, your whole thing is you're an educated black man and what you're suffering from is what's called the effects of white supremacy. That's why you talk about how smart you are, how people don't, don't respect you. It's all about you want to prove to people that you're as smart as white folks. That's what I see coming out of your voice, here coming out of your voice. Also, you might want to get some vocal lessons too because you sound just like Michael Jackson. You guys have the ex almost the exact same pitch and tone. And that's one of the reasons why women will call you the, uh, the, oh, they called you fat too. I didn't know you were heavy, but fag words, okay? Nigger faggot, art fag, faggot, square. So your vocal tones, unfortunately, if you want to better yourself, besides just your mind and education, then you might want to better your voice. Okay, I know some people's voice, you know, needs a lot of help. By the way, this is also evident of white supremacy because you try to sound as close to the Caucasian race as possible and it makes you soften your voice and speak like this. And that's what Michael Jackson was doing. I believe he suffered from the same stuff. And that's the main reason why I believe he turned himself white and, you know, had the wig with the straight hair on it and all that stuff and made the nose that way. Uh, sure, he did have vertiligo, but uh, it wasn't that bad. By the way, I'm a personal trainer. I train nurses, and one nurse, um, one of my clients, she had a, uh, a friend who worked in that uh, hospital where he was getting his treatments, and the, that nurse told her that this is he, he, say, he said she said shit, but she said it wasn't that bad to, to, the, to warrant changing your whole body. But it's, it's, it's in the person who feels it, though. So it was his decision to do that. But you suffer from the same thing that a lot of African Americans suffer from, okay? And that's why you're going to experience a lot of problems out there. You're so busy trying to prove how smart you are, how educated you are. And I've been there myself, okay? I know that's why I recognize it. And it comes out in different ways. I tried to do that whole, I'm the smart guy, college guy thing and all that kind of stuff. And when I got online, I was at a site called So Suave. And I'm, I'm like, I'm going to show these little nerds how s smart I really am and got into stupid debates with them. I would like to get my time back for that too because I was down a stupid path. But in, in listening to you, I could totally see what the main problem is. And brothers like that, they don't realize how they come off. And I, that's why I'm making this video to point out to you how you come off to a fellow brother, okay? And I'm not going to get into a debate on who's smart and all that kind of stuff uh, that a lot of you guys like to do. Maybe not you per, in per se, but a lot of brothers out there who are intelligent, they want to get in debates and argue and blah, blah, blah. I just had one on my channel. You know, under, he was going under the guise of being religious. So I would like to see you recognize what's really going on with you because if you run into all these problems with women, the problem is really you, okay? Because I've been out there in the same dating world that you've been in and I didn't experience these kind of problems. Uh, I didn't experience these kind of words at me, okay? Even when they were mad as hell at me, they didn't call me a nigger, faggot, a square, a failure, uh, the nothing, retard, queer, white stupid the weird one down there's too much ambition i don't believe there's ever be too much ambition but you know less of a man nice guy that i didn't get called that stuff w creepy so you got to recognize that it's coming from you my friend 
And when you start to really be honest with yourself, and that's, I know you're probably in one of these movements online, stuff like that, but when you start to be honest with yourself, you will recognize that you are the common denominator. So that means you are the problem. Because other people out there doing this same thing you're doing, or the same thing you're, you were trying to do, which was date, they're not having the problems you're having. Okay? And that's what I'd like for everyone to understand is that, you know, if you're having problems with the dating world out there over and over again, then the problem is really you. And a lot of these people that are like that, they refuse to, to see what the real problem is. They're in denial. And I see that with a lot of intelligent people. And like in listening to your videos there, fellow, or one of your videos, and I started listening to this one, and it was just, I, I couldn't do any more of it. It was, you know, you, you're one of those, I got to prove how smart I am so I could be as good as white folks type of people. Okay, you don't recognize it right now. You probably don't see it and you probably will reject what I'm saying, but I'm hoping to put this out there, hoping that maybe you might get the glimmer. Okay, this has all been programmed into our race to feel inferior and you've got a strong, deep inferiority complex. And it's unwarranted. Maybe you ought to turn your attention to, like I tell a lot of uh, brothers out there, discovering our real history. And there's a lot of information out there, a lot of black scholars who have written tons of stuff out there. And that's what helped me get my total self-esteem, okay? So I don't suffer from white supremacy anymore. Uh, I don't suffer from any of it. And I don't care if a person is black, white, blue, yellow, red, or green, or polka dot. That's what white folks love to say. I don't care if, and I've got black friends, and i got white friends. So, um, so I don't really give a damn about that racial shit anymore doesn't mean anything to me. I recognize that Caucasians in America, they got tooled just like we did with the fake shit. And you're an intelligent man, start studying this. And that will open up your mind to some truth. Okay, Caucasians were tooled, that means programmed, and we were tooled and programmed. So you, then you start to become aware of it, more aware of what's really going on. You'll see it in the TV, you'll see it in the media, you'll see it everywhere you go. I see it in, the, in movies, how they always put the, there was a period of time when um, there was a series of movies come out where they had these total geek guys, you know, much like I'm sure you are, you know, weaker males, and I don't mean to offend you, but I'm looking at what they call you here, and they were the stars of the movies, and they had a black guy in there, he was some, some goofball, now they're switching that over to the East Indian guys. You know, they tried the Asian guys for a while. Then they, now they're doing the East Indian guys being the goofball of the group. And then they have these geeky, nerdy white guys being the cool dudes. Okay, that's what Hollywood's putting out. Become aware of this stuff, all right? Once you become aware of this stuff, then you begin to realize self-awareness will create a look inwards and realize, oh, damn, they, had, they got me too. So I'm, cost, I'm asking you to wake up. Wake up to the truth. Take the red pill and see what's really going on in the world and what's going on within you because you are creating what's going on in your outer life. I don't know if you've ever heard of that thing called the law of attraction, but let's go deeper than that. Let's go back to, to ancient, before Egypt. There's a saying that so it is within, so it is without. And that later became so it is below, so it is above. But when you see the truth of the way it is on the inside, how you are on the inside, that's why you're experiencing all the stuff that's coming out on the outside. So that's why I'm trying to wake you up to the truth, okay? All of you men who are experiencing trouble in your lives, if you look inside and be honest with yourself and shine the light of truth there, you'll see that that's really coming from inside of you, okay? It's coming from inside. You've got to do some work inside there. All right, fellas, I hope, I hope that helps you out. Uh, if, if not, if you want me to take the video down, you, you feel offended, uh, fine. I'll take the video down, but hopefully my fellows will um, um, get the message also. I may have to redo the video and, uh, you know, put a new screen on it. But whatever, I'm trying to help people.